Hey, what's up guys? Hope you're doing good. Uh, real quick, on my way home from work, I actually had this thought and this phrase in my head and I was thinking about it. Have you ever heard of the phrase, uh, you are what you eat or you become what you eat? And I was thinking about it and it's so true. If you eat junk, you're not gonna be feeling good, right? But if you eat healthy food and stuff, you should start to feel different. Well, it's the same exact thing with the Word of God. The Bible says that we are supposed to eat of the Word of God, man, that we should be consuming God's Word. Even King David said, man, taste and see that the Lord is good. Well, how can we taste and see that the Lord is good? Well, one thing, we need to read His Word, but what is His Word? His Word is Him. And that's why Jesus even said, and He goes, listen, those who listen to my teachings, those who believe in me, right? Those who accept what I say. And He even said this, He goes, listen, you need to eat of my flesh and drink my blood. And that made a lot of people like freak out. They're like, oh no, he's being a cannibal or whatever, cannibalism. And he goes, no, listen. And he goes, you guys are so excited about Moses because God sent down manna from heaven and the people would eat this bread every single day in the Old Testament. And he goes, listen, I am the true manna from heaven. I am the true bread of life. Those who eat of me or those who drink of me will never go hungry and thirst again. And what he's saying is, and what I believe in the Word and what the Word teaches is that, man, when we believe, when we eat of Jesus, when we believe that He went to the cross, that He died for RJ sin, my sin, when I believe, man, Jesus, you are the Son of God. You died for my sin. You took away my sin. You forgave me. You, man, gave me new life. I am cleansed. I am a son. I'm going to heaven one day. You promised to never leave me or forsake me. As I believe that, as I'm reading the Word and as I believe it, it's like I'm eating and drinking of Jesus's flesh, of His blood, right? I accept, Jesus, what you did on the cross. I accept that you rose from the grave. I accept that you're the Son of God. I accept who you say, who you say that you are. I accept that. I believe it. It's like I'm drinking that. It's like I'm eating that. And as I do that, guess what? I start to be strengthened on the inside. Even uh, spiritually, most importantly, on the inside, but even physically, I start to have joy. I start to have peace. It's almost like, man, I have been eating some healthy food, and it is. It's because I've been eating the Word of God. I've been eating the truth of who Jesus Christ was. So I just want to encourage you guys, man, take communion, but don't just take it just to take, oh, I'm just going to sip some drink grape juice and eat this little cracker or bread. No, it's not that. What is important is if you are believing that you're confessing it that are you are speaking it so you are what you eat so make sure that you're eating the word of god make sure that you are eating the death burial resurrection of jesus christ man and see the power see the benefits that come from it because in jesus own words those who eat and who drink right they will never go hungry they will never go thirsty again because of who I am. So make sure that you guys are having faith, man, and eat the word of God in faith, man. Just accept what Jesus Christ has done for you. Accept who he is, who he says he is, because he is the way, the truth, and life. Love you guys. Bye.